Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Uh, we're gonna do a daily challenge today. I know we did amazingly yesterday. I don't, like, not tooting our own horn, but we were like top 1% for sure. Uh, I think we were like top... 0.88%, which sounds like splitting hairs, but I actually point that out to say that we were closer to the bottom half of the top 1%, if that makes sense. Um... I don't know why Luke's score, I guess, didn't submit for whatever reason. That sucks. But uh, at least it gives us a chance to be on top here. Now, today's daily... I know is amazing. Uh, I heard people talking about it on Twitter. I also saw that, well, I mean, I can see right now that above 50,000 is not an outrageous score. Uh, Luke is above 50,000 and he's in 442nd place. So, a fairly uh, easy daily that I know goes to Mega Satan. As Lazarus, we've had great luck with uh, Lazarus lately. I also recently read um, uh, an article or a post, I guess. What's the, the difference between an article and a post in the modern era is just the form in which it's made anyway, but uh, it was a, uh, a post by Europa, who actually is one of the um, uh, one of the people behind Greed Butt. Yeah, we'll take this for sure. Uh, on the uh, kind of differing penalties that you pay um, for taking damage at certain points of the game. And the basic takeaway, if I may, you know, I, I hope this isn't being mathematically ignorant, but, you know, the post is available on the Binding of Isaac subreddit, but from what I saw, it really seems like, uh, the damage penalty you take is proportional to the exploration bonus you get, which means the more you explore, um, over the course of the entire run, and I believe it does, quote-unquote, look backwards, as the case may be, um, which is to say that if you take, if you explore more later, the damage that you took earlier is more deleterious to you. Um, but uh, basically, the more you explore, the more damage your damage penalty will do to you, if that makes sense. Like the more the the more it'll hurt you, basically. Which still, it it doesn't mean that it's not worth it to explore. It just means that you know, if if you didn't believe that it was a bad idea to get hit, then you should believe now that it is a bad idea to get hit. We're gonna kill ourselves here, so that we can die as Lazarus and get our uh, HP bonus. Well. Mostly damage bonus, but our HP bonus from the uh, Black Heart and the Spirit Heart that we had access to already. And then hopefully we'll get HP from our boss, but, you know, better better uh, early than never, for sure, for when it comes to the, the Lazarus, uh, you know, gambit that you have to do. That was just a terrible dodge, man. Okay, this scumbag Northern Lion uh, goes into a fairly shallow discussion of what makes a damage penalty bad and then takes like a bunch of unintentional damage on one floor but still we're obviously not going to get hp here but that doesn't really bother me too much because we will get access to the pony instead basically the the takeaway message and this is not to say that the article is worthless or the post is worthless the takeaway message is uh don't get hit which is obvious but at the same time at least now we know you know, how it affects us, like how we take damage if we actually get hit. And I think that's a valuable piece of information to have. It's possible that the consequence might exist where if you take a ton of damage on like the first two floors of the game, maybe you want to avoid exploring later to minimize the damage penalty. But I have to imagine that just due to the mathematical relationship of things, you're probably better off always exploring, but just... You know, e even if you're taking damage as you're exploring, you're probably better off exploring, but your best case scenario, of course, is explore as much as possible and take as little damage as possible. There wasn't really a cute or clever takeaway from the post, it was more just like, well, we always knew it was bad to take damage, here's exactly how bad it is, and the answer is it's, it's bad. <laughs> I, I, I previously have been under, uh, operating under the assumption that the later you are in the game, when you take damage, the more points it takes away, but, I mean, that is true, but only in the points that it takes away at the exact moment from your score counter. The actual damage bonus, or damage penalty I should say, uh, grows higher the more you explore, even if you only took one hit and it was ten floors ago. So, um, I mean that's okay, again, you get disproportionately more points for exploring than for having taken damage earlier, but you get the idea. I'm not gonna get too into the, um, the minutia of it because, you know, that's, I'm not gonna say it's not my place, but that's not really how I deal with the analyses in the game for the most part, but, uh, there it is, for uh, for those of you who would like to take a look at it and who really like to see that, um, you know, the inner workings of how things go. Uh, I'm not too surprised to have gotten Tech Point 5. I mean, as you might expect, this daily is amazing. So uh, I definitely think that getting something like Tech Point 5 is fairly expected, I guess. I don't know, not specifically Tech Point 5, but items to that kind of caliber, yeah. And we'll also... Go into our item room here and see if there's anything we might like. The strength card maybe could furnish a deal with the devil for us. I don't think we want infested. Yeah, dad's key instead. Um, dad's key actually doesn't really do anything for us. 
to be honest with you, but it did allow us access to the secret room there. Um, I say it doesn't do anything for us because we're already going to be able to easily fight Mega Satan. It would be nice to get some bombs. Let's check out this room, see what we get out of here. Uh, a couple spiders that'll probably extinguish themselves just getting us out of this room. And uh, I guess I guess we're gonna go then. I, I still do want bombs so we can maybe pick up something out of that. I mean, Infested is better than... Um, or Infestation 2, I should say, is definitely better than... It's not Infestation 2, it's just Infestation. Uh, it's definitely better than Dad's Key, although Dad's Key, you know, did give us access to the secret room, or the second secret room that we wouldn't have otherwise been able to access, but... Um, it's certainly not good, let's put it that way. Alright, what do we got here? We did get Super Bandage. I don't think I'm going to pick it up yet. We'll see what we've got for deals. So we'll take... First off, play you twice. Actually, maybe a little bit more than twice. Okay, fair enough. Then we'll take... Well, shoot this. we got a little bit of time here, so we can justify this. Okay, take Incubus for sure. Pop the Strength card. Play this guy twice again. He paid out with Contract from below. We should be able to take Sister Maggie, not die, and this HP is meaningless for us, and then pick up Super Bandage. That went really well. Let's head down to the next floor. Um, why pick up Sister Maggie? Literally, you have to distill it down to base principles to understand it, but it should be pretty easy to extend once you get down there. Um, Sister Maggie was free. Sister Maggie, we traded a Strength card for Sister Maggie. I think that's an acceptable trade. Might come back in there to blow that up once we actually get some bombs. But uh, yeah, that, I mean, that went really, really well. Incubus is obviously an awesome pickup, and then uh, Contract from Below can be really good, especially on a daily, maybe. I honestly think that probably that's a, a seam that we have found. Not a major seam, but a, a seam that we may have found that a lot of people probably won't. And uh, it's all thanks to that Strength card. I don't take too much uh, responsibility for that. But that's why uh, there was a thread on the subreddit recently where people were like, Why doesn't NL take HP before going into the first deal with the devil, and this is exactly why. Like, that's the the situation, a perfect explanation of why, even though it rarely, oh my god, Kirk Thorne's so good, rarely does the perfect world situation exist, and I'll admit that sometimes it does backfire, but the, you know, the reason you do it is because uh, basically we got Incubus for half price. If we picked up the HP, we would have paid full price for it. When we know the daily's good, I think we have to, you know, make an effort to do stuff like this. Let's just see if we can get out for free. It would find the secret room as well, so kill two birds with one stone, but, uh... Sure, uh, self-sacrifice room seems completely unnecessary to me, considering we're going to Mega Satan. Regardless, and... I mean, this daily is out of control already. We're, we're slightly lacking, like, amazing damage, but, I mean, we got Incubus already. So we're, we're not really hating it either. And so many consumables right off the bat as well. Like, we were... It's only a floor ago. Or, actually, it was this very floor when we had zero bombs. So, we're already up to eight of them. That's a pretty fast turnaround. Let's see what we get from the stain here. I will regret not going to our uh, item room first if there's something like Goathead in there. But, I mean, statistically speaking, there probably isn't. But there could be. Help. There we go. Had a feeling he was about to pop up. We should be done. No deal with the devil, but we did get a uh, magic mushroom. All right, so this is one of those dailies. And what I mean by that is it's, it's one of those dailies where everything is just amazing. Uh, that's fine by me. Don't get me wrong. Come up here and, oh, just a dime sitting out there. Of course, we have the ability to fly. Holy mantle? Yeah, no big deal. Just holy mantle. And, yeah, definitely re restock is a, an amazing pickup for us. Bad trip and addicted. Addicted's not that bad. At least as long as you don't use it in a bad situation. Um, okay, I mean, good stuff, I think. Is this a secret room, potentially? No. I do want to find the secret room, if possible. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. Could be here? Second secret room? Yeah, okay. We don't want it, but there it is. Could this be our regular secret room? I don't know. This is a weird location for secret rooms to be. I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor. Happy with where we're at. Bad Trip is, of course, uh, full health for us in the future. But I, I really doubt on this run we'll probably get an opportunity to use it as such. There's uh, quite literally nothing I can really complain about now. I'm going to be using some bombs to try to finance some, some better pills here, maybe. I can see forever is a good one, for sure. Uh, other things that would be nice for us, but... Certainly non-essential, uh, like an actual form of piercing shots would be pretty good. 
Ah, oh, this is a tough decision, man. Parasite's pretty sweet for us. Uh, I really like having the ability to fly, don't get me wrong, but I think Tammy's head might be better for us in the future. I think it could kill rooms just by walking into them, and it would do so much. Uh, well, we should, I guess we need to... We, we actually can't take Tammy's head. I just realized <laughs> if we take Tammy's head, there's no way for us to get out of there. Oh, that's so good. I, you know, it might sound like I'm being facetious. I actually really like that. At least from like a humor standpoint. We can't pick up that item unless we get another ability to fly somehow. That's really funny. But I was going to take Tammy's head because I think it would speed up our run. Uh, I think we'd, we're almost at the point where we would kill, uh, we would kill a room just from using it by walking in. At least we'd kill many rooms, especially with the parasite and all the damage we've got, but, uh, well, I guess we, uh, can't really beat ourselves up too much over it. It's kind of a unique situation. That was a dumb idea, but still worked out for us. Let's not take our HP plus trinket yet. Let's be real, the trinket is not going to be better than Curved Horn. There, it, situationally, there can be some, I guess, that are better, but it's unlikely. Uh, we also don't really want Krampus's head, so it's a little bit of a waste, but let's see. Might as well take the HP. Maybe it'll be useful in the future. And we will definitely keep ramping up our exploration bonus because we've got the time, quite frankly. We also have a... I can see forever, so if we can get to our uh, second secret room, which is, of course, right here. That seems like it's advisable for us. Could be an arcade, and then we could actually get some value out of that, but... For now, it just, you know, is what it is. The Tammy's head thing is still funny. It's so funny that I actually feel like I'm missing something. Like, I'm laughing my ass off and people are going, uh, actually, you can take it. Just, like, take it and then walk out quickly or something. I don't know what, what the solution would actually be. But I'm also, to be fair, quite happy with, um, an active ability to fly. I think the pony is a really good item that oftentimes doesn't get the respect that I feel it deserves. But this is, uh, this is an opportunity for it to maybe, you know, go a bit above its weight class. Two of clubs, takes us to ten bombs, the world card. Uh, I still think that probably beats Bad Trip in a situation where survival is, like, pretty much assured for us, which it is right now. With Holy Mantle, I expect us... I mean, okay, let's not get too cocky, but it is possible we'll never take damage again for the course uh, over the course of the entire game. So, I mean, that's, that's a pretty good place to be. Probably Mega Satan and Boss Rush will have something to say about that, but... Uh, but as is, it's still really, really good. So I figured now that we can see everything on this floor, we might as well just take our opportunity to hit the dead ends in advance, knowing that they're dead ends and, and just getting the maximum, you know, proportional bonuses here that we can. Effectively traded two keys for a bomb and a key, which is, uh, you know, market value, plus we get the extra bonus for doing the room, plus whatever consumables we get for uh, actually finishing the room. This is going to be, I haven't really talked about like the meta of the daily so far, but it's, I expect it'll be a really hard daily to rank well in. I mean, you saw Kate and Aluke both put down really, really good scores. Get out of there before you get hit. Uh, they both put down really, really good scores from a point perspective. Hmm, okay, that's fine. We'll go back maybe. Um, but uh, they only ranked like inside the top thousand. It's not bad, of course, but uh, it, could, it could be better. So I'm expecting the competition to be pretty, pretty hot. Joker card is really good. If we get Mom's Purse, I think there's like a definite case to be made for uh, the paperclip, but we don't really gain any value out of it right now. Joker card, I mean, we probably have like the ideal trinket and the ideal card for us right now. So I'd say it's going relatively well. Uh, we, we should easily be able to hit boss rush. Damage is a little low to be 100% confident. Oh, that's so good. Damage is a little low to be 100% confident in hitting Hush, but we probably stand a, a really good chance to do so. I'm just trying to, I guess I'm trying to be a little modest here. Um, but we, that may be uh, unnecessary to based on the way things are going so far. Of course, Sad Bombs is amazing for us. Uh, I mean, I got so many tweets about how awesome today's daily is, and it's really great so far, but it's not so great that I would expect people to like be motivated to tweet me. You know, to talk to an asshole like me, that's going to require a, a truly spectacular run. And we're, we're on pace for a spectacular run, but we don't have necessarily the spectacularness uh, within us just yet. But, I mean, we're not, we're not far away for sure. Maybe I'm undervaluing uh, something like Holy Mantle, though. I mean, pretty soon we're going to have all black hearts. I thought the... 
thought the curse chests like regenerate from time to time. Am I incorrect about this? That was a terrible sad bomb, by the way. This one's gonna be much better. Hopefully we get a deal so we can use our Joker card later. Nope, uh, we'll use it now. Uh, and our speed is okay, so I think we will take Little Gish. Head into our deal with the Devil. Um, where we will play our Demon Judgment. Let's not forget little Mr. Demon Judgment here. Hooked us up with uh, Contract from Below, and there's nothing wrong with Contract from Below. Gave us Caffeine Pill. Caffeine Pill gives us the speed upgrade we so desire. Plus the Telepills, and uh, I think fair enough, we'll probably go with Guppy's Head here. Uh, but I don't really want to replace the Pony with it. I think we'll just head down to the next floor now. Might as well get some swag points for picking that up. Alrighty. Great position. I don't think playing Judgments, Demon Judgments, and Blood Banks actually hurts you, by the way. Or it, it hurts you, of course, but it doesn't actually give you an extra damage penalty. It might give you damage in the moment, as we saw. But I don't believe it actually contributes to the damage penalty towards the end of the game. They keep telling me Explosive Diarrhea is bad, but it's, it's not that bad. We'll try to get maybe a, a Blood Bag payout. And that's, again, all this information is from the post um, that Europa made on the... Uh, Isaac subreddit? I hope I'm not misinterpreting it. Because I know that... You know, I mean, it's not tooting my own horn, but a lot of people watch these videos. I have a responsibility to not be too much of an idiot whenever possible. Uh, and I have in the past contributed to some misconceptions in the Isaac community, for which I am... Um, I mean, regretful is a little bit of a strong word, but, you know, I'd, I'd like to not contribute to ignorance in the community if possible. Toxic Shock, great pickup for us here, of course. And, uh, I mean, now we're at the point where... I, I don't want to keep banging this drum, but Tammy's head would have killed everything instantly for sure. But you know, what? let's let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Tammy's head is lost and gone forever. Oh my darling, Tammy's head. Let's uh, keep playing this. Or maybe blood banks do give you a damage penalty, but they're always compensated for by what you pick up. Can't remember specifically. I am uh, getting a little close to the sun here in terms of time. Like, we want to be out of here in the next minute and 45 seconds. And obviously, um, you know, playing that blood bank over and over is, is something that can kind of contribute to that being a little bit more difficult. But uh, I, I think we're still going to be fine. I mean, we're, we're killing it in terms of time. Like, in terms of time to clear a room, at least. We're, we're doing amazingly. I just, I don't really want to put us in such a horrible position to get to Hush, I guess. We also should be going to secret rooms. I made a promise to Master Wine that I'll take care of you. But I'll, no, I've, I've, I've made a renewed commitment to trying to go to our secret rooms, and I, I don't think I've necessarily adhered to that commitment on the run today so far. Wow, that is not our secret room. Which actually scares me because it means that this floor could be a little bit larger than I anticipated. Yeah, Fate's Reward shows up on every run because it's a golden chest item. Um, it's okay. Thank God for Holy Mantle. It's it's certainly not bad. I'm, I'm happy to have some more familiars to join our party here. Oh, it's the mom fight already! Ah, I fucked it. Okay, no, this is fine because after we beat... Um, I didn't realize we were on this floor already. I thought we were one floor earlier. Um, we haven't been to our shop, but this is what the Telepills is for. With Telepills out of the mom fight and then... Uh, or, sorry, Telepills out of boss rush and be good to go. So we do have kind of an interesting conundrum. Ah! Ah! That was dumb. We do have kind of an interesting conundrum, if I remember correctly. Uh, I saw Kate do this. She took the Forget Me Now to get an extra e exploration bonus on um, future floors. Well, of future floors specifically. Probably on the uh, the dark room. I don't know where those spirit arts just came from, but uh, I'll take them. Uh, so I'm going to do the same. You know, if my I, I, it's not an insult meant to be directed towards Kate, but uh, if, if my wife's got balls, then so do I, right? That's where I'm going to go with this one. So I'm only taking the pony for now because it's it makes sense to me to take the pony and uh If you're horny and grab the pony Get on my saddle Tony That's not how the song goes, but you get the, it's more of a piece really, a classical masterwork as I like to call it. I'm just Beethoven looking for my Mozart. Doesn't really get the job done. Um Anyway, the other option was the wafer. Wafer's obviously an amazing item. And if it was not a Mega Satan run, I think I would more seriously consider not possibly throwing a good chance away to take the wafer. The reason I want to say that is because we'd be able to play the self-sacrifice room with half the damage penalty and, you know, being more than twice as likely to probably just make it happen. Um, 
But for now, I also hope we can get a Joker card and actually get into our deal with the devil so I can take Guppy's paw. Feeling a little bit like an idiot for not uh, really following through on that Guppy's paw pickup. You know what went wrong in my brain? You can probably figure out what went wrong in the old noggin up there uh, when it came to that. I'm not talking about the 98 Olympics either in Nagano. I'm talking about, you know, my brain piece here. But I uh, thought that we were on the floor where we'd already gotten the deal with the devil. So I was like, oh, we're just going to walk in there and there's going to be that item I didn't want. Instead, there was an item I would very much like so we can transform into Guppy. I mean, not getting Guppy's paw is not the end of the world. We'll probably get a Guppy transformation on this run if we get Guppy's paw, because we know the run is great. So, uh, like, of course, I would like to get Guppy's paw. We have a pretty good chance to not get the Guppy transformation if we don't get Guppy's paw, although it could happen. Um, but I recognize that it's my own fault. I can't really blame the game. It's my own idiocy, clearly, to just walk into the room and walk out in, in way too short of a time span. Um, so, you know, we'll have to live with the consequences one way or the other. I'd certainly love to be Guppy, though. Where is this Joker? All we gotta do is hit him with, like, one tech point five shot. I don't think we've lost Holy Mantle yet, honestly. If we can avoid that until an enemy that, that shoots beams shows up, that would be fantastic. By the way, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, Hey, you should use Forget Me Now. There goes Holy Mantle. You should use Forget Me Now and then try to get like a second boss rush. To the best of my knowledge, that doesn't work. I think we've even tried it before. And I think we even had a run recently where we had the opportunity to try it again. And I said, we're not going to do this because I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. Um, which doesn't mean I'm 100% infallibly correct. But I'm pretty sure you can't get a double bonus from fighting um, any of those special like bosses or areas. I'm pretty sure the best case scenario is an exploration bonus from Forget Me Now, which is what we're going to try to do. Like, I don't think we can fight Hush twice, for example. But we might be able to Forget Me Now prior to fighting Hush and get double the items if we have the keys and the money to make that, like, profitable and, you know, it's good for us. That might be the best option for us, unless we get to go to the chest. But we took the negative, so we're definitely going to the dark room. This has got to be, like, our final wave right here. We will lose, of course, our ability to fly here, unless we just get one for finishing the fight, but, uh... I doubt it. I, we're so good for time, as well. Like, even though it's taken us a while to get through Boss Rush, um... Nowhere near as long as it would have to take for it to not, uh... Be plausible for us to fight Hush. I mean, we're at 20 minutes right now. This is, like, the time when most people... Well, not most people, but most runs would be fighting their first wave if they even made it to Boss Rush, so... I think we're we're very well off here. Uh, thanks to there's options, we get our choice. Nearsighted friend recently got buffed, so I guess we'll take that. It might be a bad decision from a point standpoint, though, I'll admit. Let's come out of here and then telepills, and okay, now we can explore. I don't really want to play the blood bank anymore, just because I think it's uh, probably not super likely to pay out, and it's a little bit more time than I'd like to invest. Now we get BFF in here, make nearsighted friend worth it. Mm, we have restock, so it's really up to us. We can't take a spacebar item, though. Alright, that's fine. I mean, we could take a spacebar item, but we probably shouldn't take a spacebar item. Because we have Forget Me Now, of course. Uh, this should be our secret room then, and it is, and... Okay, good, yeah, fight Super Greed. Pick up some consumables. If a second secret room shows up, good. If not, that's also fine. We got plenty of time. Not a secret room. And a secret room. Beautiful. Uh, pills. I can see forever is a good pill for the next floor. Sure. I mean, these these were not that bad, all things considered. We'll just head down to our next floor. And I really do think we don't beat Hush. We open all our items, forget me now, and then come back to that floor, pick up double the items again, and fight Hush. I think that's that's the best scenario. So we're trying for more guppy items. Unfortunately, whoop. Hmm. Okay. We take... Well, if we're going to take uh, Judas' Shadow, we should take my Shadow first, because it's going to cost us the same. We don't get the bonus for having beaten the room, unfortunately. Uh, do we want to die and become Dark Judas? I think if we can find a way to do so productively, yes. But if we can't find a way to do so productively, then honestly, our damage is already great as is. But this is a nice kind of failsafe, I guess, I guess, in case things go like terribly wrong. So pheromones just doesn't work on these guys, I guess, is what I'm discovering here. Maybe I used it too early or something. Man, Holy Mantle, so good. 
Curse of Darkness plus Toxic Shock is not a good combination. It's very difficult to see what's happening here. Plenty of money. Money for nothing in my forget me now for free. Well, I did have to fight 30 bosses for it, but it's, it's free-ish. Some doors require a blessing. Who would have thought? I would. I'm feeling very confident that we're not going to get our guppy transformation. I feel pretty stupid about that, but uh, you know, life life goes on. Can't beat ourselves up over over that too much. We're still playing very very well, which is something that I'm I'm very quick to remind you. If I'm not playing well, I will I'll, I'll be the first to let you know. Right? Admittedly, we could. Uh, no, we can't. We can't forget me now and take this pony. So we might as well just. You know, be content that it's a relatively easy boss for us right now. We'll definitely take the syringe, and then in our deal with the devil, probably a guppy item. No, we've already been there, remember? You got the shadow items. You got your brain all mixed up today, man. On the bright side, we did complete our full set of Halo of Flies. It's not really a Halo of Flies, but uh, three pretty flies. It accomplishes a pretty similar role. Don't even care about that, honestly. And Golden Horseshoe is not going to do anything for us. I was... Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go look for um, our curse room. We got so much time. I'd really like to amp up this exploration bonus. If there's a curse room available, I'd like to find it. Obviously, we can go for free, so we will. We got some pills. We got a guppy item, so that would be our transformation right there. If I wasn't an idiot, and we got head of the keeper. We got an I can see forever pill for the next floor, which is great. This is like the trademark case, or like the the typical. Let me put it this way, it's the ideal environment to explain to people why to do your due diligence. Because, like, just going to that curse room gave us such a huge benefit there. Uh, I'm not going to reroll my whole run. Sorry, this is a great run. I, I, I really don't want to reroll this whole run. There might be a chance to get Godhead on it. I know people have tweeted me like, oh my god, there's Godhead on today's run. We've, on, on a non-daily, I'd throw this one away. On our existing run, I can't do it. It's just, it's so strong, man. I can't, I can't throw it away and then get soy milk and then Mathis comes along and puts in a score in the top 5,000 and goes, What's wrong? What happened? How'd you fuck that daily up? I, I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it. Not on a daily. We're firing like straight up, like dome, well, circular Cheetos here. It's my rap name, circular Cheeto. There's got to be a snack food that's more appropriately shaped like a circle of cheese. I can't think of one. Like a Frito, but not tubular. I mean, literally shaped like a tube, but... Alright. We got so much time here. We got nothing to worry about. The arcade, we maybe we want to go into the arcade just in case it's like a key beggar or something, but I don't know. If we get enough spirit hard drops, we have gotten a lot, but if we... That was dumb. If we get enough spirit hard drops, we may want to consider killing ourselves to become Dark Judas. But honestly, on a daily, kind of the principal problem with that for me right now is... We've already taken the damage penalty to kill ourselves as Lazarus. Yeah, let's take it. Uh, we've already taken the damage penalty to kill ourselves as Lazarus. Then we're going to go one step further and kill ourselves from full HP. Almost as if we have a self-sacrifice room just to get double damage. I mean, double damage is awesome. Um... But is it at all necessary on this run? No, I don't think so. Our damage is already, like, incredible. Although, when I looked at Kate's run, this girl had, like, 8-inch nails. Oh, but she was already on the dark room. So maybe she's... Maybe we're on the same path. She was just a little further along. Uh, we don't want the Eternal Heart, sadly. Tapeworm's okay, but I, I can't really use it here. Um... Not over Curved Horn, anyway. The reason I uh, took Bob's brain, by the way, is because we have Holy Mantle. It's not going to be much of a help. Um, ooh, that could be a guppy item. It's not going to be much of a help on, um, like, Hush. But on every other room, I think it's totally acceptable to take uh, Bob's brain in this situation. Because between Toxic Shock, a Bob's brain explosions, and some shots, and then the Parasite shots that result from those shots... Like, we, we should be killing things pretty darn easily, so... Man, I would love the guppy transformation right here. Didn't get it. It's okay. I know uh, we had the chance of the guppy transformation, and it slipped through our fingertips. The other way we could do things is we could save the forget-me-now, not use it on Hush. 
Because maybe you don't even respawn on the same floor. Like, maybe you actually miss Hush if you use Forget Me Now on him. That would be a rude awakening for sure. Um, but assuming that doesn't happen, I still think it's best to get the guaranteed item rooms in shop from Hush. But uh, we could use it on the dark room and try to get a guppy item. But at that point, you know, it's it's a foregone conclusion that we will or win or lose the game probably by the time we get to the dark room. I'm assuming it's going to be a pretty easy win, but might be mistaken. Uh, my only hope right now, if we don't get the other guppy item, is that maybe we've picked up enough consumables as a result of the uh, contract from below that my, many people might not get. That maybe that'll give us a little bit of a leg up on the competition and points. But, uh, I mean, I have to admit, it's, it's very preventable. Like, we, there was no reason at all for us to, uh, to not take that guppy item. It was just a momentary lapse in judgment. I was just checking to see if we got to deal with the devil, but I don't think we did. I walked, I was facing that direction. I just got pushed through the door. There's nothing I could have done about it, man. Okay, so we're going to open up the item room first inside. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are both pretty good. Uh, let's think about it. I mean, attack fly is good, but we're not going to be doing much damage with our flies anyway, right? That's a joker card, which is sweet. Um, not taking lever. I'll take brother Bobby here, and then we'll open these up. Infamy's great. Get our consumable bonus. Uh, I think we'll take common cold. I think we'll take broken stopwatch. I think we'll take take deep pockets. Uh, I think we'll take regular stopwatch. And we're spending points here. We'll, we'll take charged baby. We'll take mom's purse. Um, I'll take Nightlight, and that pretty much... Oh my god, now we can't get Sackboy unless we get money here. Uh, it's not enough money! Dang it. Okay, well, that's fine. Joker card does nothing for us here. Let's... What about what about our pill? Do we know what this is? Health up? That's real bad. Okay, we'll pop the Forget Me Now. And then get new items on the Hush Fight. And it did work to take us to the Hush Fight, which I really appreciate. We get Steven and Cricket's Head. Those are huge gets. Um, we won't take soy milk. We'll take spider bite for sure. Uh, I think we'll take 10 extra bombs, weirdly enough. Uh, I mean, we don't really want the other one. Okay, let's just go for the kill then. That's fine. I think it's worked out pretty well for us. I think we handled this smartly. I want to get nightlight pointed in this direction to slow down the shots. There you go. Because I really do want to get um, the Bob's brain shots that land in there. I mean, we have uh, we have uh, sad bombs. Man, I also believe you me. I know that we have hive mind, uh, so I very easily could have uh, you know killed Hush much faster if I just picked up that guppy item. You don't have to harp on me for that uh, incredibly dumb guppy situation earlier. That's my own idiocy, and I'm very aware of it. I guess to get Sackboy, we could have just like shot in that shop for a while. There's a, there's a synergy I hadn't considered, but cool to know nonetheless. Still doing great on this run. 50,000 is, is within our grasp for sure. And even though we're not guppy, I don't feel too stupid about um, how we're doing. We haven't really taken very much damage, and the damage, damage penalty is the ultimate killer. Of course, would we take more or less damage if we were Guppy? We would almost certainly take less damage, of course, and you knew that when you asked, but, uh... It's not that big of a deal one way or the other. I mean, it is a big deal, but it's not its not gonna guarantee us a shit daily, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Our daily is still really good. It might be a little slower. I'd expect that the Guppy uh, penalty will affect us more on time than on actual points. And this Joker card could still swing it for us on, uh, on Shoal. Hush fight's going great. We haven't uh, haven't taken a lick of damage so far. Having uh, Holy Mantle and pretty awesome damage will do that for you, of course. Looks like we're completely immune to, to taking bullshit damage right now, which is awesome. Let's just hope that that continues for us. Looks like we're relatively safe there. Um, these ones might start to have a chance to hurt. Bob's brain has gone off. We got enough money to pick up two items from the shop. It would be awesome to get Sackboy. Like, I'm not going to say Sackboy wouldn't have been great to pick up, but we still have a chance to get it.
We're almost done with the hush fight. Come on. Wow, how is, I'm facing Nightlight backwards. What a genius. I didn't even know. But it's a good idea. There we go. All right. I mean, that was a completely acceptably easy hush fight. We didn't take any damage. I think that'll set us apart a little bit. I'd really like to not pick up... Uh, actually, you know what? We have to pick up the Red Heart and then hope that we can trade it away on the next floor. Deal with the Devil. Wow, we can take way more than two shop items. We actually got to uh, 83 cents. Let's take blue map. That's helpful. Don't really want a uh, little baggy because it'll ruin the Joker card. So I think that's where that dream stops, unfortunately. Just want to see if there's any like black markets here. Ah, whatever. Let's get going. <laughs> down to down to Shoal. Still doing really well. There's our, our mapping. Let's Joker it up. Um, sure. That's fair. And you know what? We don't need to play the Demon Judgment anymore. So we're looking... I guess the thing with Forget Me Now is that we could have used it better uh, to get an Exploration Bonus. And I, I talked about doing that and then just didn't do it. But I felt like it was kind of more clever to use it for the Hush Fight. Even if it, it costs us maybe 500 points on Exploration or something like that. It might even be more than 500 points. I'm not trying to be like deliberately misleading. Broken Stopwatch was busted for that rune for sure. Um... I just mean that, I, you know, we got Cricket's Head and Steven out of that. Plus whatever we got from our shop. Isn't that pretty good? We got Spider Bite and 10 extra bombs. I think that's that's solid enough to justify the loss of uh, the points that we would have gotten. It'll be really interesting to see, like, my score versus Kate's score. Because I, I really think that it'll probably come down to guppy, uh, guppy shenanigans there. And we can take a second trinket, so... Maybe Bob's Bladder. It's not a great uh, trinket necessarily, but it's not horrible. We can start to think about our point uh, totals now. Especially once we finish this floor and go down to the dark room. Because you get another 6,000 for beating Satan. Well, let's say roughly 7 um, for beating Mega Satan. That'll take us to about 35,000 roughly. Or sorry, 45,000 roughly. Um, then you factor in the exploration bonus, which depending on damage taken might give us like another 2. So that'll take us like 47. And then exploration... Bonus minus damage penalty. Um, I mean, I think we got an outside chance of 50,000. But I, as always, these are just rough estimates. So I may be like completely... I may be underestimating our chances, I guess. Is what I'm trying to say. I don't want to... I would much rather overestimate our chances and then be disappointed. Because it doesn't make you look like an asshole. If I'm like, oh, I think we're fucked. And then I just come in and get like a top 100 score. People are going to be like, wow, really... Way to be modest, NL. But, uh, I, you know, th those are my honest predictions right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up in the 49 to 51,000 range. It's basically assuming perfect play, which, uh, to be honest with you, it doesn't take much for us to have perfect play at this time. Hope for uh, some useful cards. Didn't get any. Life goes on. Obviously got to go down to our second secret room. Uh, it's not, not really necessary. All right. We got sad bombs. Each sad bomb should do quite a number on each phase of Mega Satan. It's probably fairly obvious. Of course, general strategy, just go as long as you can before taking a hit so you don't lose Holy Mantle for uh, dumb reasons. And uh, yeah, so far that's worked out nicely. We're already on the third phase and haven't even come close to getting hit. By my estimation, at least. I mean, we do have a full suite of Orbitals and Holy Mantle, but... Okay, we'll head down slash up and we'll see what we're at. So we're at 43,000 with Curse of the Blind, but we know it's probably a Guppy item if we get an item here. Um, you know what? We'd love Guppy. Pentagram's good. Headless Baby's good. Rotten Baby's good. I'm not sad about any of that. Even though we did lose a ton of HP, if, if we die, we respawn as uh, Dark Judas anyway. So we did, sp I mean, admittedly, from a min-max standpoint, we spent a bunch of points there, but I was really hoping to get uh, a guppy item and compensate for the fact that I was an idiot earlier. Glitter bombs. Betrayal. Nothing serious there. Positive or negative. Um, 43 plus roughly 7 puts us at 50,000. Plus we'll get our point bonuses after it's over. So I actually think that it might be theoretically possible for us to put up a score that's in like the 53 to 54,000 range, depending on the bonuses that we get when the run ends. Um... Again, I don't want to 
I'd, I'd rather overestimate our chances than underestimate them, just from a character judgment standpoint, but, uh... This also uh, assumes we'll beat Mega Satan, which actually, ever since, uh, those nine spirit hearts I spent, although we just did get two back, is not guaranteed, but is probably, you know, very, very likely. And, I mean, people laughed at me when I said we probably wouldn't take damage after, uh, you know, X point in the game, but we really only have been hit once or twice since then. Uh, at this point, I guess we can take an Eternal Heart and not really care. And we definitely want to explore, not just because of the fact that we have, uh... Oh, there goes Holy Mantle early on this one. Um, we want to explore not just because of the fact that we have, uh... You know, the exploration bonus, but also because it's pretty likely for us to get a lot of consumables out of, uh... Head of the Keepers, so... That seems like a fairly obvious no-brainer to me on that one. Little Chubby is fine. God's Flesh, nothing wrong with that. I didn't want to have that HP, I'm an idiot. Uh, but if we never get hit, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But uh, a little bit of a, a mess up there. Not sure if I like conjoined or hate it. There's probably a right answer, but I, I don't know what mine is right now. Well, I, at least I can tell Kate, no matter what, uh, what those items were. On the dark room, she had full HP, I think, as well. And I, when she asked me for advice, I was like, she had Curse of the Blind too. When she asked me for advice, I was like, I'd probably take one of them and see what it is to start with. And they kept, they kept being okay, so I kept, uh, I kept rolling. Another black card. Um, if we get super lucky, or at least like slightly above average lucky, we might have an outside chance at maybe uh, forty. 45,000 by Mega Satan. 45,000 by Mega Satan gives us, you know, roughly 51.5 thousand when Mega Satan's dead, plus whatever bonuses or minus potentially whatever bonuses we might uh, we might have at that point. So um, I actually think we have a potential for at least like a score that beats a Luke's, and I don't mean that as an insult. I mean that as a great mark of respect. I think a Luke's score was very good, um, but uh, I think we do we we have played. In such a way that we uh, we can beat that score. Now I don't know, by the way, there might be a game busting uh, glitter bombs mechanic that I'd never considered before. I hate broken stopwatch right now, but like maybe glitter bombs, if I just use them endlessly, will work out well for me and give me a bunch of consumables. But I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to you know min max that because that's not the kind of player I am for the most part. But I will pick up all the money that's available. I think, like, 45 by Mega Satan is a very realistic uh, outcome, you know. We're already at 44.6. Uh, we might only have, like, two more rooms. So we're, we're going to be, like, plus or minus 500 for sure. Yeah, we only had one more room. This is a champion version of the Haunts. Still not that big of a deal, considering we'll just crush him in easily. But, uh, okay. I mean, do we telepills? Figured we'd just throw the telepills in and see if we got something. Uh, we did leave a bomb back here as well. Except for the guppy idiocy, I really have given my all on this run. I think I've played pretty well, and again, absent the guppy idiocy, I made good decisions. So I, I feel great about the way that this daily is gone, honestly, and I think we deserve, uh, except for the guppy idiocy, a good rank. And I think we're going to get one. I think this was just a really, like, not that exciting, because it's obviously, like, super powerful, but... Um, a, a daily that we can we can be proud of by basically just doing everything by the books except for the guppy idiocy. I have to keep mentioning that because I know people are going to be like, "Well, what about that time you completely threw away your chance to get the most powerful transformation of the game?" And I'll be like, "Oh, you got a good point there. <laughs> I did, I did pretty much fuck myself there, as I mentioned uh, about seventy or eighty times over the course of the the video. I just want Bob's brain to go, man. There we go. So just." I don't want to lose Holy uh, Mantle against these guys. Because it allows us to be more aggressive. Uh, if I have Holy Mantle... Where did you come from? If I have Holy Mantle for the semi-later like later stages, we can speed things up a little bit. Almost got hit there, but Conjoined is coming through in the clutch. 
Throw some extra bombs in. Oh, whoa! That's like... I guess I'd already lost Holy Mantle. That's also the first time in forever I've been hit by that hand attack. Good God. You feeling okay? I don't know what we've done to... To his sprite there, but... Glitter Bombs did just pay out with a pill. Is that an I Can See Forever pill for the 8,000th time today? Alright, we are done. It's a health up pill. It gave us like 15 points, so sure. Then we get the swag points from that. Take all these, and that is gonna do it for us. Oh, we missed the Eternal Heart. Still. Hey, we got 50,627. That puts us like just... Like 170 points ahead of a Luke. So I was well off on what I thought our uh, bonus would be, but I think we played really well today. I'm happy with this score. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.